Hello everyone and welcome to Tormented Souls, a third-person survival horror game heavily inspired by the classics like Silent Hill and Resident Evil. I had an absolute blast with the demo of this game a couple of months ago and I know I'm going to enjoy the full release as well. Speaking of the full release, it is due to be released tomorrow, the 27th of August 2021. You'll find the links and the details down below in the description if you're interested. And I should give thanks to the developers for giving me early access. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, I had a great deal of fun with the demo, I know I'm going to have a great deal of fun with this, and I hope you do as well. If you do, leave this video a like, if you don't, leave it a dislike, but leave your thoughts down below in the comments, either way. But here we go, we're starting a new game of Tormented Souls. Hope you enjoy it. Who could that be? A letter for me? I never receive letters. Well, you do now. Because there it is, addressed to you, or rather me, Caroline Walker. From John Doe, Wildberger Hospital, Winterlake, Blackwood Island, Canada. Okay. Now we should be able to spin this around, that's right. So, yeah. We can lift this up, we can get the photo out. I absolutely love the interactivity in this game. So yeah, a photo of two girls that actually hurts me when I try to examine it. On the other side, it says, you just think you can abandon us here? Hmm. And so our story begins. It's been two weeks since I received that letter from the Wildberger Hospital. Since then, I haven't been fine. I can't get out of my head the image of those little girls. I can't sleep. And when I am able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. What's the meaning of all of this? I'm going to the Wildberger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. But do you need to know in the dead of night? Couldn't this wait until the morning? <laughs> I suppose it's because she's trying to sneak in, right? And sneak in she does. The door's just left unlocked. It's a pretty luxurious looking hospital. Yeah. You see, this is why you don't arrive here at night. If you arrived during the day, this wouldn't have happened! Yeah, great start, right? Well, it's about to get worse. Yep, yeah, that's me. Lying naked in a tub, tube in my mouth. Just beginning. Okay, here we are. I'm in control. I'm in tank controls, actually. So you can use a controller for this. I'm using a mouse and keyboard, but uh, yeah, it's really up to you. Right, let's go this way. Yep. 
Yep, they've taken an eye. This is really not your day, is it? Right, okay. Uh, after that, what, second breakdown. Uh, let's continue on, shall we? Uh, so let's see, what was it? Okay, so yeah, it's space for the inventory. I've got the items, resources, and files kept here. Looks like I kept the photo with me, the photograph of these twins. So there you go. Very interesting. Can I examine it now? I can! Interesting. It says a damaged photograph of two girls who appear to be twins, and it doesn't hurt me this time. I think I've been hurt enough, to be honest. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's very reminiscent of like, well, as I said before, Silent Hill, Resident Evil, in the way it displays health, the inventory system. I really like it. Okay. So I think we should be able to open lockers, right? Or certain lockers. We've got William Wildberger's diary here. And a birth certificate. What does this say? I thought I wouldn't be able to believe anymore. All this time, I have refused to let hope grow inside my chest. But now that Maria's pregnant again, I'm going to believe again. For Maria. For those little souls. For me. And this? Today is the happiest day of my life. After all the suffering we have endured the past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. But there is more. After all this time, she has returned to me. She looked at me with her eyes wide, as if she had not seen me in years, like she was waking up from a dream. That's not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch to find the exact time at which the first baby, Emma, was born. As I opened the lid, the glass cracked and the hands utterly stopped. I do not think this event to have some meaning or other. I'm not a superstitious man, but Maria insists that it's a sign. She started using the hour as her lucky number and uses it for everything. Interesting. Okay, that's a lovely detail. We're going to find more of that diary, I'm sure, but for now, let's put that away. Uh, I think that's it, at least for now. Uh, let's see. So, as I recall, there's a problem with the door. Yeah, okay, so it's missing a handle, so we'll have to come back to that. What does that say? Do not let shadows embrace you. What does that mean? Hmm. Right. Well, I, I think it's very dangerous to stay in the dark in this game. I think that's what it's getting at. Okay. There we go. We can open this. And we can find an old pocket watch. There you go. Use the latch on the crown. And there you go. Now, there's the time he was talking about. So, it's actually 12.35. Okay. So, if we have a look at this padlock... There you go. <laughs> I'm going through this with some confidence because this was the bit in the demo, okay? Pretty soon, we'll uh, we'll get to the end of the demo section and I'll be just bumbling along, probably, but right. It looks like we're actually keeping that combination padlock for some reason, but uh, the main thing is we got it off this so we can open this up and we can find a rusty wrench. The jaw size is adjustable. There you go. I think we want it about that sort of size. Yeah, that sort of gap is about right. Um, and I think that's all we're going to find. But with that rusty old wrench, we can now use this there. Very clever. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to need to find a light source. There's loads of candles around here, but I'm pretty sure that's not what I'm going to be using. Let's just sort of follow the light. What's that little kid got there? It's an old gas lighter. Alright. Okay. So, space. Uh, that's going to be resources. Equip. Nice. Very nice. Okay, it looks like we can't go any further down this corridor. So, uh, let's go the other way instead, shall we? Yeah, this is good. This is good. It definitely has that retro, classic survival horror feel. It's like it was a game made 20 years ago, quite honestly. Right, let's go through here. The waiting room, okay. Um, I remembered the beginning pretty well, but... I didn't remember that happening, for instance. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to remember bits and pieces, like... I can pick these up, for instance. These are a clip of nails. 
can be used with a nailer that I don't have quite yet, but that's going to be our weapon. Um, what else have we got? Something over here, maybe? Got some artwork. The Nightmare by Henry Fusilli. Okay. It depicts a woman in a deep sleep with a demonic incubus crouched on her chest. This recreation is amazing! And also quite freaky. Okay, there's something down here. It's a report about the Tismuit tribe, okay, and an underground cemetery. According to the latest archaeological discoveries on Winter Lake Island, the Tismuit tribe resided on the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of this is an ancient underground cemetery found deep inside a cavern on the island's shore dating from the 10th century. More than 286 skeletons belonging to 10-year-old children have been unearthed so far in the underground cemetery. All the bones were buried in pairs, and experts suspect that these were twins buried together. Interesting. Very interesting. Those twins in the photo that I got, they looked about ten. Yeah. Okay, so this is locked, and it, it's going to open electronically. We need to get the power on for this door to open, alright? That's out of order, so no soda for me. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what else? Something over here? No? Ah, right. I'm gonna need to find something for this, just to get this shutter open so I can go into the rest of the hospital, but, um, yeah, I, I don't have anything right now. Yeah, it looks like I didn't keep that wrench either. If I kept that wrench, maybe that would have worked, but never mind. I need to find something with a hex socket, right? That's gonna get this open. Yeah, I love the way it looks as well. The level of lighting is just perfect. And this doll does give me the creeps. That's also perfect. <laughs> Something down here? No, just a magazine. Nothing terribly important. Um, but this does go around to this door, which is unlocked. The examination room, okay. Ah, sounds like save room music to me. Probably because it's a save room. Uh, in here, a vial of morphine for minor injuries, okay. Anything else? Um, what's this? Oh, a left side of a plastic heart. Well, that means we're going to need to find the right side as well. Okay. Yeah, let's just go around the perimeter of every room and make sure we're not missing anything, you know? We've got medical books over here, nothing useful. I'm sure they'll be very useful when you get damaged, but... Uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> it's not the model. It's actually this photograph I think I'm trying to examine. But I don't think I can do it. No, 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 I just can't do it. I don't know, maybe that's a bit of a bug. Right, okay. Seven inch tape that can be used to record information. That's how we save. That is our typewriter ribbon, basically. Old files, nothing interesting, okay. Uh, and I believe it's this where we save, right? I suppose all I need to do is just drag this on, but um, I don't think I've really had enough progress to uh, warrant saving quite yet. What's all this? It's covered in blood. God, it reeks. I don't dare lift the sheet. Okay. Um, I think that's all we're going to find here, really. So let's get out of here, and let's go back through the waiting room and, and back to the corridor. Yeah. Yeah, I will have to come back, I suppose, when the, when the power's on. I'm just trying to think back to the demo, and I'm pretty sure I didn't complete the demo. Not fully. Because I was having so much fun, I decided to just end it early. I didn't want to spoil this experience. Right, okay, so the maternity ward, also locked, also appears to open electronically. So again, that's going to be the power. Um, we're going to deal with that later on, I guess. Yeah, I can't mess around with these panels, but let's go down here. Okay, got like a, a deep sea diver's helmet. We also have a map. Okay, a map of this area. I'm there next to the maternity room. Um, certain rooms are green, certain ones are red. I don't know if it's exactly like Resident Evil, where, uh, you know, that means there's something to do in those rooms. I don't know if it's going to update as such, but yeah, we've got, a, we've got a few more rooms to explore on this floor. Okay. Something over here? Maria Wildberger's diary. Okay. Okay, so 6th of June 1963. 
I was terrified of what William would do when he finally saw my naked skin, but my fears were unfounded. He accepted me, even with the scars on my back left by my father's whip. William asked me why he did it, of course. I explained that the pain was to redeem my sins. William will never look at my father in the same way again. And there you go. Nice. So this is A. Presumably we're going to get a B, a C, a D, and we're going to get different tabs so we can go between. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I really like so much about this game. Uh, something odd with this door, right? Yeah, what the hell's this? I don't know if that was there before. Kennel to dog? We've had we've had these in the demo, but I think this is new. So yeah, the handle won't budge. There are symbols above the keyhole. An alien, a pharaoh, a, a hornet or something? And then there's this. We're going to need something quite special to get through this door. So I'm going to have to come back a little bit later on. Um... Let's see, there's there's two ways to go. I think this way it goes up. Yeah, that's it. So, let's have a look. Ah, okay, just like the demo, it's locked from the other side. I don't think I ever got through the other side, to be honest. Um, okay, well, if we can't go that way and we can't get through that door, the only way, I'm afraid, is down. So far, so good. I haven't been attacked from the darkness. <laughs> uh, I think we do want to go that way, but is there something underneath the stairs? Well, there's something here, right? What's this? Okay. It's a patient report. Okay, well, from Dr. William Wildberger. Uh, Since the patient's health is extremely delicate and the transfer would worsen their condition, I would advise against transferring them to the new hospital. The patient has cardiac insufficiency and requires an immediate transplant. The patient passed away at 11.34pm due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, they were holding onto a metal object. With the rapid onset of rigor mortis, I have been unable to remove it from their hand. Right, okay. What about this? Can we open this? Alright. Oh hey, a hex end socket! Uh, it's missing a handle, but that might help us with that shutter in the waiting room. So I'll keep hold of that. And I think that's it, right? No, 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 it's not it. More nails. There you go. Okay, I don't fancy picking up that wheelchair, and I don't fancy looking at the posters, so through we go. <laughs> Lovely Dutch angle. Yeah. <laughs> um, pretty soon I will be under threat. Let's go this way, shall we? I don't know what I'm going to find this way, I don't remember. Oh, wonderful. Uh, any comments, Caroline? It's been mutilated. What the hell is going on here? Uh, some very experimental treatment, maybe. Yeah. Okay, that way is a no-go. This way, yeah? Following that thing. A statue with a gas mask there. I think that's a symbol for a generator this way. That's where we want to go, really. We want to see if we can get the power on, the lights on. But we've also got to abide by the signs. Don't run. <laughs> what about this? Looks like a cell door. Oh, it's locked from the other side. A bit worrying, really. But, um, okay. Let's continue going down this hallway and, and see what we find. Oh dear. Oh boy. It's a cool looking enemy. Oh fuck. Right, 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 right. Ah, that's locked from the other side. This one? Oh, it's this one. Good, good. The x-ray room. We're not alone here. It's not just us and the monsters. Hi. <laughs> I think we're both quite confused. 
What the hell is going on here? My child, you are pale. What happened to you? A person in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. Sounds about right. Oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. Hmm. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. No, we didn't. What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I certainly don't remember coming here before. Now, I think I mentioned this in the demo. What with the, you know, the topic of everything that we've been reading about, the tribe, the photo, I'm wondering if I have a twin and maybe he recognizes my twin, you know? I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. Hmm. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. So it's just you? Why are all the lights off? I don't like this. Yeah. Anything could be lurking in the dark. I'll, I'll fill in for you there. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Uh-huh. Is there a way to turn on the lights? There should be. The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. Go to the end of the hall and through the door that leads to the generator room. You can restore the power from there. Okay. I see. I'll do that. I will. Wait. Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. Well, tell me about it. Thank you, Father, but what are you going to do without a weapon? My child, with a Bible in my hand, God protects me. Hmm, probably not for long. But, uh, yeah, we've got a nailer with a modified air pressure tank to increase the power. This is going to be a pretty viable weapon. Thank you very much. But I'm pretty sure, let's just check, I'm pretty sure we can't have the lighter out and the nailer out at the same time. No. Right, okay. So, let's just have a little wander around here. I do see, I think, more nails behind this guy. So, let's go collect those. Very nice. Uh, let's see, anything else? Something back here in the darkness? Maybe I should pull out the lighter. Mm. Oh, there may be something here. Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, we have a well-worn crowbar, that's right. Brilliant, okay, that's a good find. Uh, I think he wants me to go this way. Yeah. But, yeah, okay, yeah, this, this, is, this is a bad move. This is a very bad move. You shouldn't go into the dark. There you go. So. Pulling out the lighter again. Let's go. Oh dear. I was iffy about them in the demo. I'm even more iffy about them right now. I know one of them is just going to come to life and throttle me. But not right now, apparently. Okay, uh, so we've got some boards in front of the door. We have a crowbar, so... There you go. Brilliant. Okay, so, the generator room. Let's see if we can get this up and running. Uh, a couple of lockers. More nails. The more the merrier. Um, yeah, so lots of machinery around here. Uh, is that... Yeah, that's something to read, isn't it? It's a maintenance crew logbook. Not much here, but let's take a look. There's an issue with the electric generator. The pressure of the gas must be exact for it to ignite. The correct pressure is written on the control panel. Right. So I think it's this one we need to play with. Okay, so let's get this open. Right. So, yeah, we need a specific number. And I want to say it's like 9, 10, 11, 12, something like that. Uh, there's actually one missing. Yeah, the valve's missing, so we need to go and find that. I don't think it's too far away. Um, let's see. Over here. Not on the shelf. Oh, hard hat area. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not wearing my PPE. Okay, here we go. Got another map. Um, yeah, 
This would lead back to the basement. Oh, and it was the morgue that I was trying to get into, was it? It wasn't a cell. Wonderful. Okay. Um, that's good to know. Oh, and I think here's one we can actually take. Yes. So I think, yeah, that's actually in our inventory now. So let's check that out. Is that in files? There you go. Good stuff. All right. And again, you know, just like the diary pages and stuff like that, we get different tabs for, I think, different floors. But, um, yeah, cool. Nice. That's going to be handy so I don't have to run back to the nearest notice board. Um, there is something over there that's flashing. I think that might be the valve handle? Yep, there you go. It appears to have fallen off something. Well, let's go put it back. But let's have a look at this first. Ten. It's ten, I think. So I can start it with like two and a half, but it's not going to work. In fact, it actually goes down by one as I press start. So maybe I need it to go to 11 and then fall back down to 10. I think that's it. I think that's it. Right. Let's, uh, let's go back and let's see if we can sort this out. All right. So uh, that is going to be there. And, you know, this is going to have to be one of the ones we use, right? That's it. That's it. That's 11. It's going to drop to 10, but that should be... That should be enough. Let's see. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. We should be able to get the power on pretty soon. So let's try this again. Start. That's right, it falls down to 10, but it's consistently on 10, which means the power is on. And so are the lights. Wonderful. So there's those areas upstairs that had those electronic locks. I think they should be unlocked now. I'm pretty sure. Um, that would lead back out to the corridor. I'm actually kind of curious as to what would happen if I go back this way. I, I don't know if anything's going to be different in this room now that the, the power's on, you know? Oh, it's certainly nice to have the lights on. Yeah, they don't look quite so intimidating now. <laughs> can I have a look at this? Ah, I can. It's more of Maria's diary. Let's start over here. Okay, so the 1st of January 1967. William promised me that moving into the mansion where the city hospital is located would be the best for us, that it would allow us to spend more time together. These days, however, I find him spending every waking hour at work. I fall asleep waiting for him at night. His passion for medicine is what made me fall in love with him in the first place. Am I being selfish? There's more over here. Today is one of the happiest days of my life. William came running into the room, searching for something. His eyes traveled around the room, giving me no more than a few seconds of attention. But then he looked at me again, his eyes open wide. William came to me and put a hand on my forehead. He pressed his fingers into my wrist and looked at me for a few seconds, unbelieving. His voice faltered when he spoke. We are going to have a baby, he said. I felt sick. William took the rest of the day off. He acted like a child, laughing and speaking of the future, holding my hand the whole time. That night we heard a noise coming from underground. It sounded like metal being struck over and over. We could not find sleep until early morning. Yes, okay, there's, uh, there's some very sinister undertones to all this, it feels like. Okay. Um, I don't know if this guy's gonna help us anymore. Let's see. You may find what you're looking for in the library. Library? How can I find the library? It's on the second floor of the East Wing. Take the stairs in the main hall. Oh, you'll need to unlock the door in the waiting room. I will, won't I? Thank you. Take care, Father. Right. Well, I've, I've got that hexagonal socket. I just need to insert it onto something so I can twist it around. Um... I'm pretty sure we're done here. Yeah, so... I'm just gonna have to basically make a mad dash for it, I think. Or should I take this guy out? I've got the nailer, right? I've got the nailer. Let's give it a go. There he is. Oh my god, die! Oh, bloody hell. Seriously? Jesus Christ. Are you actually dead now? What was that? Nine? Ten nails? Ah, 
Ah, damn. I, I should have shot off screen. Then I wouldn't have got slashed. How am I? I'm still fine, but a little bit cut up. I still didn't lose another eye. Um, right, okay. Looks like it's just the one enemy here. Uh, back this way? Yeah, I mean, the lights are on. It's still not great, you know? <laughs> There's just like bare minimum illumination. But it's better than nothing, I suppose. Okay. Um, up here then. So it was the maternity wards that I could maybe try, and that one of the waiting room. Okay. Well, I think the maternity ward is just around the corner, isn't it? So let's try that first. This one here. Yep, it's unlocked now. Okay. Uh, well, let's start by reading this. It seems to be covered in blood, okay. Uh, right. The nurses told me that a lamp was malfunctioning in the maternity ward. When I turned on the lights, I could see that one of the bulbs in the wall was indeed flickering. As I was getting ready to change it, a man came out of nowhere and grabbed me by the shoulders, pushing me back with strength unimaginable for someone his age. He told me not to touch it. I didn't want to argue with him, so I simply left. I can't stop thinking about it. Why did the old man prevent me from touching it? I should check it out. I definitely should. Nice. Seems like we can't read the blood. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a light in this room. Alright. And who's that patient, I wonder? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, what you expect to find in every maternity ward. A clip of nails. Right. A few books over there. Plant. I think that's about it. Oh. Full of various medicines. Do you want to pick a few up? Because you'll probably need them. <laughs> I'm fairly sure that's not the only time I'm going to get hit in this game. Um, alright. Something here? No? Oh, there's definitely something over there. Ah. This is the patient that died. Oh, well, that was meant to have died. Having rigor mortis. Yeah, her fist is now tightly clenched from rigor mortis. Okay, hang on, nothing happens, but what if I turn it on? Ah, right. Her chest was left open in the middle of a procedure. The heart is missing. Well, I've got one half of a plastic heart, but that's not really what you're after, is it? Um, I guess we'll have to come back to this. I think I need to find the rest of the heart. I can't remember exactly where I found it, but I think I did find it. Again, full of various medicines, but again, I don't need them right now. Uh, oh, there, there's the flickering light. We'll get to that. Water switched off. All right. Yeah, same over here. All right, let's have a look at this light, shall we? I don't think anyone's going to charge in and pull me away from it this time. Right. Yeah, it's more than just a light. Kind of explains that strange camera angle that we got. Yeah. All right, let's climb down. To a little room. Okay. That's another reel, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yep, another seven-inch tape. So, again, I can save. I don't know how long I will be playing this. I'm going to play it beyond the demo, and then, well, we'll see, I guess. Right. It's pretty dark, isn't it? Tell you what, let's actually... Let's actually get this out. We got something over here? Canister? A giant mirror, obviously. Cross on the back of it. Yeah, this is, uh... This is an uncomfortable room. Let's take a look. Um... I could light this candle, you're right. That one too. Nice. There you go. Ooh. Right. Uh, against my better judgment, let's take another look. Yeah. Go on, Caroline. You can do it. Alright. So we walk from the little room 
into the little room. Just a different version of it. And this is a sort of Silent Hill aspect to it. This is kind of like the Otherworld version of the hospital, as I understand it at least. So, uh, yeah. Things are decidedly different. <laughs> like the cross, it's upside down now. Because of course it is. Um... Right. Up here. Okay. Again, going back to the maternity ward, just a different version. Uh, looks like there's something over... Oh. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Someone's around. I'm firing off screen, hopefully this is going to be worth it. Fucking hell. Are you dead? Yeah, that, that was your death knell, I think. And I'm not locking on anymore. Was it just him? Looks like he escaped the wheelchair. There was something over here, though, right? Oh, more morphine. Okay, great. Well, I'll, I'll probably need some sooner or later. Okay. Still getting that music in the background. Oh, look at this. Look at how this has changed. There's a hole in its chest cavity. Where I think I do need to put the plastic heart, but I've only got one half. So I, I think I need to combine the two halves and then put it in. Yeah, it doesn't fit right now. Where did I find that second half? Maybe things have changed since the demo. Or well, maybe it's just around here, you know? But god damn, it's dark. So, well, it looks like I'm safe, so let's get this out. And let's have a little look around, shall we? I can't open it, no. It looks wildly different. Looks like I'm trying to escape a submarine or something now, that sort of door. I think the water's still off. Yeah. The water is switched off, even in this world! <laughs> okay. Surgical tools, but they don't appear to be in good condition. Now, everything looks dirty, grimy, rusty. Naily. <laughs> uh, well, there's a fancy door over there. Can I get this open? Or maybe, actually. Ah, it won't budge. I, I need to force it somehow. And these are too rusted to move, so maybe I could get rid of the rust? I've still got the crowbar. I don't know if I could... Nah, nothing happens. What about these? Are they... Yeah, that's still too rusted. I think I need to do something about the rust. Then maybe I could twist this and get this open. Right now, I haven't got anything like that. Yeah. Bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Um, so, I, I don't know if there's anything we can really do here at the moment. I might have to come back to this a little bit later. Yeah, I, I need to come back when I've found that heart. Or the other half of the heart. So, back down into the little room. Where am I going to find that? Hmm. Nice. I should mention that that was where I decided to leave the demo, not wanting to spoil any more of the game. So, yeah, now... Now I don't really know what I'm going to be doing. I, I know I need to find the other half of the heart, but I don't know where it's going to be. It, it doesn't seem to be in the same place that it was in the demo, or I've just walked by it. I'm not sure. Um... Well, let's... Let's get out of here, okay? Let's get out of here and, yeah, let's go down the corridor a little bit further to the waiting room. Because there was another electronic door, wasn't there? That should also be open now. Okay. Yeah, the... Oh, Christ. Uh, uh. Oh! I threaded the needle. I got through. I'm in the dentist room. Okay. I, oh, no. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right. I'm sort of abusing the loading here. Okay. Real quick. There you go. There you go. No. No. Oh, shit. Down. Okay, I... Jesus, die already. I've been hit a couple of times now. I can't imagine I'm still fine. No, I'm on caution now. So maybe let's use one of these. There you go. 
Running kind of low on the nails, too. Uh, much like Silent Hill, maybe it's wise to run around the enemies than take them all out. What is that? It's like a pile of intestines. Something in here? Oh, more nails! Perfect, yeah. <laughs> in a fucking dentist's office. Oh, but wait, there's another one of these cases. Could that be the other half of the heart? Ah, I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't there before in the demo. Because I, I don't think I actually came into this room before. Um, right, well, let's let's get these combined. There you go, a plastic heart. So, ideally, I want to go back to the maternity ward in that little room, but what else have we got here? Something to read? More of the diary, okay. So, 17th of September, 1941. As I crept quietly behind my father, the clock struck 1.30am. I saw him enter the mausoleum after placing three elements on some kind of board. He went through quietly. I followed him at a distance, trying not to make a sound, for I did not want to be caught. At Mother's tomb, my father sank to his knees and rested his hands on the cold, sculpted marble figure of his wife. He began praying. I felt guilty following him. Seeing the cold and calculating man this way moved me. I was about to leave when Father stood up and approached the angel statue. Mother's marble tomb moved slowly to the side and exposed the narrow staircase leading into darkness. He climbed down the stairs. I hesitated for a moment, my legs not wanting to take another step, but was able to stand and follow him down. Once inside, I heard metallic sounds and the echo of running water. A few moments later, I bumped into a ladder. I climbed down and found myself in a long stone tunnel covered in pipes and sewage. I saw Father's silhouette turning a corner and hurriedly followed. Before me appeared a huge metallic door and a group of men wearing strange suits like those worn to protect from radioactivity. Each carried a giant hammer. My father joined the group and they received him by hitting their hammers together. A hospital bed on each side of the group carried what appeared to be bodies covered in sheets. My father put on one of the disturbing suits. In my frightened stupor, I loosened the brick from a wall. It smashed against the floor with the sound of a thousand buildings crashing down. I could feel their eyes turn to me as I fled back the way I had come, their guttural voices screaming to catch me while they hit their hammers on the ground. Jesus, okay. And I think there's a little bit more, to be honest. Oh no, that was all of it, was it? Okay, alright, well... Damn, your father was up to some strange shit. Wait, hang on, what did that x-ray say? Help? <laughs> it's help in, like, surgical tools. Wonderful, alright. That's like the duchest of Dutch angles, by the way. Um, let's see. Is your father in that photo, maybe? Ah, more morphine. Wonderful. Yeah, this is uh, this is a dentist I would not like to visit. Oh, wonderful. They're neatly arranged, so you're just going to leave them where they are. Yeah. <laughs> Save them for later, maybe. Yeah, the water is always switched off. I, I keep checking the sinks, though. Just like I'll keep checking the toilets if I can. I haven't found one yet, really. Um, right. Okay. I, I think we're getting out of here, right? And I am going to see if I can maybe just make a break for the, uh, for the corridor. Oh, come on! You were just right there! Oh, well, maybe it is worth killing a few of them. <laughs> Hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Okay. Actually, now that the lights are on... What? Oh, no. 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 <laughs> I was going to go check out the corridor that was illuminated by the lighter. Maybe later on. Maybe later on. Right. For now, what I want to do is I want to climb back down into that little room and go to the, uh, I don't know, the other world, the other side. Whatever you want to call the other dimension in this game. Through the mirror. So through we go. Yeah. And up we go. Hopefully the enemies haven't respawned. Looks like he's still dead. Good. Just the way I like him. Okay, well, I've now got the full heart, so... Right, let's perform some surgery. There you go. Pretty creepy, really. It seemed almost alive for a moment. Well, here's the thing. I think if I go back to the normal world, back through the mirror, and I check out... Well, the corpse on the bed. I think things might be a little bit different.
Right, so let's take another look at this. Okay. Let's try this again. Yes. We have resurrected the dead. And we've also found a metal tea handle missing a socket. But that's okay, because I found the socket earlier. So let's see if I can just combine the two. There you go. So in theory, that should get us through the waiting room area, through that shutter, into the... Well, it, it, into the rest of the hospital, right? We can get out of the demo area. Um... Right. This is all reloaded. I think at least one of these guys is gonna need to die. The hell was that? What? Oh, maybe that was... <laughs> that was her in there, realizing that she's alive. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Right, let's go back this way. I think, yeah, let, let's let's take care of these guys, or at least one of them. Oh boy. Nope, 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 he missed, and he's so fucking furious. I was actually pointing at the wrong one, so I decided, yeah, fuck it, I'll just run. Uh, right, so I should be able to use this here. Give it a bit of a twist. Oh, everyone's invisible, apparently. <laughs> okay, right, can I go through? I can go through! Into the main hall. Is this um, is this the main hall that we saw at the beginning? It could be. It could very well be. Oh, look at that little baby! Clip of nails. Yeah. Um, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. I would love a map, to be honest. You know, like <laughs> I got a map of that sort of basement area, but not here. Okay, we've got a harp, a piano. Can I play? Sadly, I don't know how to play. But we're getting like a special camera angle for it, so maybe I just need to find some sheet music or something? Or, I, I don't know, a cheat sheet. Is that a handbag down there? Hmm. Okay. Right. <laughs> Can I leave? Not without a very, very special key. That's a very... Unusual key design. Not a usual key design. Come on, game. <laughs> um, yeah, that's probably going to be the last thing I find, quite honestly. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's uh, let's go back behind reception if we can. We can't like vault over the counter. No. There's a door there. There's a door over there as well. Tell you what. Let's just go around the room. Um, I think we went this way when we were knocked out, right? I've got, you know, a nailer and various nails now, so I can maybe defend myself this time. Ah, it's locked from the other side. Okay, okay. Um, old payphone's out of service, so I can't call for help. Okay. I like that I can try, though. Okay. Looks like we can go down and we can go up. But can we go through here? Oh, we can. Interesting. All right. Into a chapel. Uh, yeah, I'm not really a fan of that sound. <laughs> okay. Well, let's just explore the main hall area, right? So, yeah, let, let's go down before we go up, shall we? I do at least have a map of the basement, or some of the basement. So, I might know where I'm going down here. Ooh. It's pretty dark, though. Very dark, yeah. Okay, we got a door there. Oh, how's this? Oh boy. Uh, something can be placed here, like a, a key card or something. Something that's a socket for something else. And oh, I don't know. I'm now thinking back to what I just read, actually, about the uh, the mother's tomb and the three things placed down. Maybe these would be the three things. I'm not sure though. Something down here? Okay. Got a door there. Um, this was uh, this was blocked by a sign, wasn't it? What's on the other side? Not much. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, where are we going to go? Let's have a look at the map, shall we? Files. Uh, there you go. Um... Yeah, it's not the best, 
but I think we're here. This would lead to the west basement, the terminal patients, the boiler room. This leads to something. I, I, I well, let's find out. Okay, this is shut tight. At least for now. And this? Ah, oh, that's also locked from the other side, okay. Uh, we might be going to the chapel after all, to be honest. But what was it? I should be looking for a library, right? Let's, uh, let's check out upstairs. Okay. Lovely statue there. Which I can do something with. I guess something should be placed here. But what? You want a padlock? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Um, I'll come back to this, I suppose. Is this area devoid of enemies? It looks like it. Uh, like twins again, maybe? Yeah, a sculpture portraying twin angels. One of them comforts her grieving sister. After she lost an eye, probably. Um, alright. Here? Oh, okay, this works. We're in a meeting room. Okay. Hmm. What's this? This is locked from the other side. Oh, it's a hatch. Oh, damn. I thought that was like, I don't know, a little plinth or something that something was going to stand on, but... Maybe that's going to lead to, like, another mirror or something. Calendar from 1994 there. Okay, is that a, a projector? Or... Hang on. Anything there? Oh. Oh, it's a slot for a VHS tape, but we don't have a VHS, so, um... I'll have to find one. More morphine? Lovely, lovely. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, I suppose at some point something's gonna get displayed here. And chances are there's gonna be, like, a hidden door behind the screen, something like that. Over here. Boy. Uh, another phone. Presumably it doesn't work. Can we go through? We can. Oh, boy. The second floor corridor now. Oh, shit. Oh, is that? Hang on, hang on. I mean, that's a horrifying sound there, but there's another map of this area. I'm there. I just came out of the meeting room from the hall. Okay, there's a sewing room, an office, a child room, a penthouse, bedroom. Library. Library's just around the corner. Restroom. Yeah, okay, a dinning room as well. Fantastic, I love to din. Um, right. Oh. Great. Fantastic. That's the copy that I want. Uh, so, yeah, right. Interesting. It looks like there's a key symbol there. That's for the VCR. What does that mean exactly? Did I see that down there? I don't know. Hmm. Actually, let's have a look at this. If I examine it, I can go between the tabs. Yeah, that's how I thought it was going to work. Cool, cool. Oh my god. You look like you're straight out of Silent Hill Homecoming, actually, but you're like fucking attached to the wall. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I, I'll, pu I'll pull my nailer out and kill it, but, you know, the darkness would take me, wouldn't it? What's this? No disc. Okay, we need to find some sort of disc. For the door, maybe? Yeah, possibly. More morphine. Okay, wonderful. I've got so much morphine on me now. Um, well, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Oh, God. This armor almost seems to be alive, and it's ready to fucking swing. Oh, dear. All right. Go. 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 Oh, shit. Wait, is there another one down here? Oh, there is. Another statue. Okay. We've got a switch on the wall here. Oh, perfect. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's, let's keep it up. Yeah, there you go. Well, now I should be able to get my nailer out and take care of these guys. So, this door is locked from the other side, unfortunately. Right. 
It's nailing time, I think. Right? I'm sure they would just absolutely mutilate me if I tried to run by them, so I think they've got to die, right? I'm not locking onto him, but he's still twitching, so maybe these ones can't be properly killed? That's a bit fucking creepy. Um, nails. And another door, right. Let's have a look. This is the sewing room. Oh, it's a save room. Maybe that's what it means. That that microphone symbol, that means you can save there? Oh god, look at that. Damn. Alright, um, let's have a little look, shall we? What are we gonna find here? A stethoscope! Used to listen to a heartbeat. Maybe I should go back to the maternity ward. <laughs> um, wonderful drawing. Hey! Yet another seven inch tape. I can save three times now. They're actually... Few and far between. You can't save too much in this game, it seems. I quite like that, really. It increases the tension. Something to read? More of Maria's diary. Okay. Let's see. So, the 25th of April, 1967. William returns from his week-long trip today. I can see his car from my window, slowly drawing closer. I was unable to go with him, for I was not feeling well. What am I supposed to do now? What should I tell him? Probably nothing. One look will be enough. It won't be necessary for me to say anything at all. Hiding my face or staying silent will only postpone the inevitable. Before I have the chance to sweeten my words, they will stab him with an ugly truth. He will look at me and know. You lost the baby, didn't you, Maria? Ooh. The doctor just left. He says I must eat, but without the feeling of hunger, it is challenging. William is having additional difficulties at work. Some patients are not happy with his performance. They're even considering suing the hospital. William tells me nothing, and it's from the gossip around the house that I hear these things. I know he doesn't want me to worry. Of course, this only makes me feel the distance between us more. I cannot stand the silence, and I know William does not speak to me because he does not know what to do or say. I need to get better. I must, for him. The sun enters the room in beams. I can see the dust particles floating around, unbothered. I'll let the sun caress my face for a while. Yeah. Yeah, that's gotta be tough. That's gotta be hard. Um, okay. Well, obviously I can save here. Maybe I can practice on the harp? No? No? <laughs> oh, more nails, though. Wonderful. Um, okay. Uh, again, let's have a look at the map, shall we? So... I'm in the sewing room. I can't go into the office. Um, the bedroom I would need some sort of card for, that disc. I might be able to get into the library if I kill that guy there. So let's go do that. I'm not ready to save and end the video quite yet. Right, what about this guy? I'm not locking onto him. He's still twitching, but... He's dead, at least for now. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> I do not like that. Right, sorry buddy, but you're gonna need to die. Seems like it's five for them, not quite as many as all the others. Okay, so here we are, this is the library. Uh, hmm. The knocker is missing. I have a stethoscope. The knocker's still missing. <laughs> what does this say? Only those who know the beating heart of John Gibson's creation may enter. Well, actually, I, maybe the stethoscope will help. But we're still gonna need a knocker, right? Unless, I don't know, can I do something to the stethoscope? I thought that maybe I could unscrew a little bit here and there and create a knocker out of it, but... I, I, I don't... I don't think so. But the beating heart? I mean, that's just too coincidental. Surely this needs to be used somewhere. Got a couple of statues here. Book characters. Right, yeah, okay. Um... Aside from that, bit of a dead end, unfortunately. Okay, well, that's... That's okay. That's okay, I, I can come back. Let's go back through here. Um, we can go back to the main hall, because there's still a few more doors to go through, and oh, Christ. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so it just turned the lights on in there. Not in every room up here. And in fact, there were some lights on here. It's just that fucking dark. Man. Okay. Okay, so yeah, let's just continue going along. Or... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, is there something on the floor? Actually, I think that's the problem. There's nothing on the floor. I think there's a big gap there. Uh, maybe we can go all the way around. Yeah. Something here, maybe? An open drawer? No? Hmm. I really can't get over how good this game looks. I mean, it, you know, for an indie game. This is really quite wonderful. Okay, that's locked from the other side, so, well... Does that mean that I, I can't really explore the rest of this? I think that basically means we need to go down to the chapel. That's okay with me. That is okay with me. Right. Well, I know there's going to be an enemy in there, so... I'm just going to get ready. <laughs> Let's see if I lock onto him. Oh, I'm, lock I'm locking onto something. Oh, okay. Is there another one? I think there's another one. I need a better camera angle. Right, okay, so this guy... This guy's actually dead? Okay. Another map. Okay, it's a big, big area, isn't it? So we got the store, the kitchen, the studio, shower room, laundry room, bathroom, archive, right... Uh, yeah. There's an elevator, too. Interesting. And what's this? Hang on. Oh, perfect! Yes! Perfect! Where is that other one? There he is. But he didn't see me. Right. Running away, running away. Oh, you fucking spit blood! You nasty bastard! Right. Oh, there you go. He's down, and I don't think he's going to get back up again. Oh, time for a soda, don't you think? Oh, damn, it actually might be. Oh, uh... There's nothing there. And I don't have any change. Oh, shit, I, I should have brought some change. Ah. <laughs> uh, I was kidding, but okay, I, I guess we're going to need to, uh... We're going to need to get something from there. What's this? broken statue? A smashed statue of Jesus. It looks like it fell off the cross. Hmm. Can we have a look at the cross? Not really, no. Okay. Uh, anything on the seats down here? Uh, you know, again, like I've said in many playthroughs, if you do notice something that I miss, let me know about it in the comments, because in the next video I can come back and maybe collect it. So far, I think I've been pretty good, but hey! Thylomorphine! Nice. Yeah, so far I think I've been pretty good, but there's probably a couple of things that I've missed. Probably a couple of things that you spotted. Alright, so just heading back. This would lead to the... Oh no. This would lead to the reception. And what's this? Fucking Tetris now? See... What... <sighs> that... There's going to be some sort of fancy key that we need to twist around or something, right, to, to get into this. But I just don't have it quite yet. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Here? Can we get this open? Doesn't really look like it. What about this? Okay, alright. Into the kitchen. Is it dark? Thankfully, no. Alright, surely there's going to be something I can pick up here. No? Can't open the cupboards? You don't want some Mama Susan? Dirty dishes? Nah, now is not the time for washing up. The fridge! Ah, oh, the fridge. Okay. It's freezing cold. Maybe I need to freeze something. It doesn't fit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I guess I'll come back later. But yeah, maybe something needs to be frozen. 
Maybe it's the drink that I get out of the vending machine. I'm not really sure. Oh, another ominous message. You won't leave this place. Not without some funky looking key, anyway. Here? Charred remains. Human remains, I think. Yeah, are these human bones? What the hell is going on here? Nothing good. Nothing good. Um, alright. Let's just take yet another look at the map. So I'm going through the kitchen. This is going to go into the store then? And that was where the gate was, right? If I can get if I can get through here and then out there, I might be able to get through to the other side of that gate. Okay, I'm going through. I'm into the warehouse now. Not exactly where I thought I was going to be. Okay, what? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. He's coming. He is coming. <laughs> Okay, right, okay, let's just keep on going. <laughs> I can just about outrun him, you see. Right, there you go. Oh my god, please die and do not come back. Oof, right. They're actually pretty threatening enemies, and the fact that you, you can't just press a button to dodge out of the way. Yeah, okay. I thought that was going to be some more morphine. In fact, it's actually nitric acid that can corrode metal over time. We don't even need to find a knocker, we can just corrode the door. <laughs> um, alright. More nails, I think. Perfect, because uh, I've just used quite a few. Hey, a computer that's actually working! I Oh, I need to insert the disk and it'll write a keyword on it? And that keyword will be like the passcode, presumably? So I'm going to need to find a disk, maybe a blank disk. Right now, I uh, I don't have one. And there's no disc to eject. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, I'll, I'll keep my eye out. There's loads and loads of stuff here. Surely there's something I can find. Aside from the corpse of that monster. Uh, again, it's quite dark, so maybe this is coming out. Okay. Some fragile boxes. And an unlocked door, hopefully? Oh, it is now. Okay. Yeah. What we got here? Oh. Oh! An iron door knocker shaped like a hand holding a ball. Right, there you go. That is going to help us get in. That's what we need. I do not like that sound, though. Not one little bit. Okay, isn't this a... Yeah, it's a closet. A broom closet. Pretty tight little hidey hole. Um, wait, what? What's this? A battery can fit here. We need a battery? Well, we, we need to charge a battery for something. Okay. I can only open this one, it looks like, but I found some more nails. Is that it? I think that's it. Damn, okay. I mean, there's so many things I need to find. Uh, yeah, alright, well, I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll have to. Um, yeah, any idea where I might be able to find a battery? That's what I'm talking about. There you go. So that's a nice little shortcut back. So, before I head back to the, uh, to the library, where else can we go? There's this studio that is actually a save point, I think. And then there's a shower room, a laundry room. Might lead to a bathroom. That's what I'm talking about. So, yeah, let's go check that out, shall we? Um, so let's see. I think it's that door there, but anything up here? Oh, hang on. There's definitely something. Can I move this out of the way? Well, I can move it away from the elevator. 
I won't be able to call it from this floor, but another floor, maybe. Okay. Right, well, it looks like I'm just moving that out of the way. That's all. There's nothing else to find. Let's go back to the door that should lead to the studio, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the save room music, and that's the save room symbol. That microphone. So let's see. What are we going to find in here? Let's check out all these desks. Oh, look, another one. Yeah, another tape. Another x-ray. <laughs> and you shouldn't have come here. Well, now you tell me. Oh, wow. A shotgun. Where is the shotgun? I'm going to want the shotgun. <laughs> Who wouldn't want the shotgun? Okay. Right. Wait, isn't that that statue that I saw? It. Interesting. Maybe it was a, an actual body? Just encased in marble or something? Very, very strange. Okay. Can we go through here? We can! To the service area! Oh god, right. Um, let's see. Let's take a quick look at the map. So, we're going round to the shower room and the laundry room if we go this way, okay? Sounds like I'm actually heading away from the enemy, so that's good. Well, I'm not entirely sure about that anymore. Is that one of those ones attached to the wall? It could be. It is. It is. Okay, well, I, here's the thing. I can't just shoot into the darkness. I'll die. I need to get the lights on first before I can get around there. Can we get this open? Okay, that's locked from the other side. Maybe I can go through the other room. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm looking around for a switch. There's probably going to be a, you know, a red switch on the wall like there was before. You? Hmm. Okay, that that sounds like it's close. Okay, that sounds that sounds like it's very close. Am I getting followed? Yep. Oh dear. Ah, oh, the bloody plan. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, all right, there you go. I'm into the restroom. This is safety. This is sanctuary. Ah, no. Oh, gee. okay, right. Okay, this isn't safe either. Fantastic. Rocking a fucking hard place. Okay, let's see. Let's just keep on going this way, shall we? What is this? A pipe with an attached handle, and it smells like sulfur. I feel like maybe the nitric acid is going to be used with this in some way. Thanks, kid. Okay, where, where am I even going right now? Oh, this might unlock the door back into the hall. Maybe. Let's see. Door unlocked! Fantastic! Okay, so we've created a little bit of a shortcut at the very least. Good stuff. Okay. Right. Well, now the question is, do I go back? Do I continue exploring in the dark, or do I go upstairs, and do I try and get into the library? The fact that I'm going up the stairs probably signifies that I've chosen. <laughs> uh, it wasn't this way, was it? It was the other way. It was this way? Yeah, okay. I'm still learning the map. Yeah, so I've got to go through the meeting room, haven't I, really? About you guys, you you're still dead. Interesting. Alright, so let's see. Does this just fit? Seems like it does. Okay. 
So do we need to knock to get in? You know what? I think I'm going to save this until the game has been released and I'm recording a part two. So for now, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching part one of Tormented Souls. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, and I hope to see you back for part two. See you then. It helps of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. But do you need to know in the dead of night? Couldn't this wait until the morning? This is really not your day, is it? I remember the beginning pretty well, but... I didn't remember that happening, for instance. <laughs> yeah, I love the way it looks as well. The level of lighting is just perfect. And this doll does give me the creeps. That's also perfect. <laughs> ah. Sounds like savory music to me. Yeah. <laughs> I was iffy about them in the demo, I'm even more iffy about them right now. I know one of them's just gonna come to life and throttle me. Oh, hard hat area. Uh oh. <laughs> Not wearing my PPE. Oh my god, die! Why did the old man prevent me from touching it? I should check it out. I definitely should. Full of various medicines. Do you want to pick a few up? Because you'll probably need them. <laughs> Yeah, the- oh Christ. Uh, uh, help! <laughs> it's help in like surgical tools. Wonderful, alright. That's like the duchest of dutch angles by the way. Actually, now that the lights are on... What- oh no. No, no. Right. <laughs> Can I leave? Uh, yeah, I'm not really a fan of that sound. <laughs> Restroom, yeah, okay, a dinning room as well. Fantastic, I love to din. Oh my god. This armor almost seems to be alive, and it's ready to fucking swing. Oh, you fucking spit blood! You nasty bastard! Yeah, these human bones... What the hell is going on here? Nothing good. Nothing good. Oh, 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 oh! He's coming! He is coming! Sounds like I'm actually heading away from the enemy, so that's good. Well, I'm not entirely sure about that anymore. Ah! No! Oh, gee. Okay, right, okay, this isn't safe either. Fantastic! 